Hello, this is designer Raphael Cox. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I am 27. I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> and my expertise is women's clothes. I do ready to wear as well as evening wear, as well as men's wear. I've pretty much done it all. Uh, my clients range from different aspects. So whatever they bring me to the table, I used to try to, you know, brainwash them into what it is I want to make, but I'm open to everything. Um, what inspires me is um, the everyday person. I love meeting people from different walks of life. I love meeting, you know, people that have a different aspect on fashion or just a way of expressing themselves through their clothes. Um, that always really lets me know that there's someone who has a different point of view on life, whether their background, whether it's culturally, whether it's something more personal or emotional. But um, usually I'm inspired by diff different people of uh, walks of life just from all around the world. Um, if I see something interesting, I usually approach the person and just, you know, make dialogue with them and just go from there. Um, stop. How did I get into fashion? Um, it's actually funny because I started out as a history education major, right, history education. Um, and I was going to school in Alabama and actually I was uh, taking a course, it was History Education 101, and we had to go sit in an elementary school for an hour or for, for the in the remaining semester for the class. So I started, well, I didn't notice, but apparently I was always late. <laughs> um, and I was fashion really late at that. I was just, you know, taking my time getting dressed. And the main thing was to make sure I was trendy, I was iron pressed, steamed, whatever I needed to be. That that's what took place before I left my dorm room. So I would always be late for the little sit-in at the elementary school. So. One day, one of the students just walked up to me and he said, you know, how do you come up with these concoctions of outfits? And I was like, excuse me? Like, really? Concoctions? Right. So he addressed that to me and then I responded and apparently that's when the teacher decided to come over and speak to me about my outfit. So at that time, I realized just how much I love fashion, how much I really was into putting my own personal outfits together. So the next day, I changed my major, and I changed it to fashion design at Alabama A&M University. And then I thought, hmm, Alabama fashion, right. Not saying anything's wrong with it, but I don't know too many designers from Alabama. So I came home that summer. I was enrolled into a fashion school, and from there, graduated in 2006. And here I am now. Um, some of the struggles... <laughs> This industry, they don't tell you about that in school. They don't tell you about the hardships. They don't tell you about you not having a love life. They don't tell you about you being up all night sewing. They don't tell you about any of that. They just tell you, oh yeah, it's fashion, it's fun. This is the beautiful life. Um, so some of the struggles is just, you know, trying to maintain a personal life as well as a business life. Um, being up and coming designer, you take on so many different roles. You take on the publicist, you take on the assistant, you take on the manager, you take on the brand manager, you take on the sales representative. So a lot of times it's just, it's really hard to try and balance out just having time for friends, having time for work, having time to go meet people, having time to meet with clients, having time for fitting. So the struggle is just really time. Time is not my friend. And there's nothing I can do about it because guess what? Time will go on whether I finish that dress or not. So struggling within this industry is just something that comes along with the job. It's nothing you can complain about. It's something you have to cope with, deal with, and learn how to make it work towards your advantage. Okay, so now let me show you some of my collectioni that best describes me as a designer as well as can let you see more of my aesthetic. I would say the best piece that describes me is a jacket that I made personally for myself. Um, a lot of my stuff is really geometric. I love geometric shapes. I love doing a lot of, uh, well, within this collection, there's a lot of zipper piping detailing. But I love doing things in three. I love layering. I love the fall. So it's kind of hard making, you know, fall clothes for summer. But <laughs> I somehow manage to layer things. Of course, fabrications would be different. So it's much lighter weight. But um, the piece that best would describe me as a designer would have to be this jacket that I personally made for myself. And you can see this jacket and a lot of relation in it 
to um, the collection that I'm actually currently presenting for spring summer 2011. But as you can see, it has the three panels, the three blades. I love doing things in three. It's kind of like futuristic, but a hint of, you know, still realistic. I don't really want it to do over the top, but I still wanted to make a jacket that really was defined within construction. Um, then it has three hip blades. Um, that come out too. It has the zipper in the front. I love gold and black. <laughs> gold and black are my colors. Um, very form fitting, very geometric shapes, very clean, and that's just what my work stands for. And then in, in the back, it's actually much higher in the front. It's not as low as in the front with the three blades. Um, and this piece just really describes it because it really captured me, my workmanship, my craftsmanship, and just really what it is that I love to do, which is make geometric, artistic looking clothes. Um, if I could translate it into something else um, from my Spring Summer 2011 collection, it probably would be um, the Sophia dress. And once again, you can see the hip detailing. You can see where within the jacket it has the same detailing. You can see the zip. I named the collection Zip too because for some reason I fell in love with zippers. And as you can see within other pieces like this denim jacket, there's the same thing. It has the double lapels, it has the hip blades, and then it also has pleating in the sleeves. Um, once again, very tailored, very clean, very geometric, as well as the higher back in the back. Very clean, very geometric. It's just very form-fitting and what I love to do. I love just making detailed quality pieces. Um, and then I'll also show you this dress here. It's actually on the dress form too. <laughs> Um, it's actually a dress that got a lot of press for me. D Woods from the former group off of MTV's Make the Band. Um, Dan and Kane actually wore this in the photo shoot that we did here in Atlanta. Very sexy, but still very chic. Very edgy, but still it has great quality to it. It's a stretch fabric, and it has the zipper piper detailing, like in all the other pieces, zipper piper detailing here. And the zippers all around here, as well as in the back and the sheer. Um, very sexy. This is, I would say, my sexy dress out of my Spring Summer 2011 collection. And then also to tie back in to the original jacket is the Bella Vest from the Spring Summer 2011 collection. Once again, we have the zipper popper detailing. We have zippers here. And this denim is actually reworked denim from a thrift store. I went to the thrift store and just bought a whole bunch of old denim and cut it up. That's why you see like the butt pocket here. You see this seam in the front and as well as just all around. I think these were the sleeves. And once again, you see the Expo zipper in the back and then this little vinyl up top and even the little sleeve caps has the zipper piper detailing as well. So that's my spring summer 2011 collection. Um, it's very, it's got a lot of press for me. It was really great. And I'll also show you some other pieces that I had shot on a few celebrities here. Um, this actually red dress. Uh, from the Spring Summer 2011 collection was shot on So So Deaf Recording Otters, Dondria. Um, she's become one of my regular clients. I've done a few things for her. Um, I see her when she's in town, but once again, sweet girl, really great. Form fitting, very clean. It has the asymmetrical sweetheart cut in the front as well as in the back. Um, very clean, simplistic dress to wear. You could wear, you could belt it. You could do so many different things with it as well as fit tights underneath it if it's more cold. You can put some kind of holes on and cut them up, make it real edgy. Um, very versatile piece. This piece also is a piece that I did from Candy Burris for the Housewives of Atlanta. Um, if you're wondering why it's red sequins, it was for a Christmas uh, party event that we did here in Atlanta, and she actually performed in it. So yeah, red sequins, perfect for Christmas holiday. <laughs> and it was very form-fitting, sheer leotard with a little um, bell sleeve. It was really cute on as well. And this dress I actually made for Erin Andrews um, from ESPN, Dancing with the Stars. Um, she was actually going to wear this to the awards um, a few years back. Really sweet lady. Um, she loved color as well and she just loved ruffles. So I thought it would give her the best of both worlds and <laughs> just knock it out in one. Um, you already seen this dress that Dee Woods wore. Um, this is another dress that I had made recently for a competition here in Atlanta. And the inspiration was the diamond in the rough, like a rose that kind of had been through a lot. That's why the ruffles are unfinished and, you know, they're not really as polished because I wanted to bring out the life of a rose. No matter where a rose is, it always will be beautiful, whether it's on concrete or if it's amongst other roses, it always will stand out. Um, so, yeah.
Once again, I'm designer Raphael Cox based out of here in Atlanta. I am not going to tell you my age again because <laughs> you got it the first time around. But yeah, I look forward from hearing from you guys. Thanks.